Okay people, this is himself. Let's look at Feng's push hands. So push hands is while standing 1 plus 2. It's a 23 frame mid that does 20 damage. Now on hit, it leaves you a plus 3. Because of the pushback, you can't apply pressure. That is, unless you're by the wall. Here you can use jabs, DF1s and lows. You also have back one as a frame trap and back four to prevent sidesteps. Now because of the speed, the move doesn't seem that good. What makes it stand out though, is it's a sabaki. That means from the third frame to the eighth, it will parry all punches. Now when you do parry, Feng is at plus 16, and this is true frames. That means we get guaranteed follow-ups. Unfortunately, hop kick is not one of them. Despite being 15 frames, it simply doesn't have the range. What you can get is shoulder or DF43. Both of these do similar damage and grant a wall splat. The optimal follow up though is Lu Bu Spear. This is slightly slower, but it does the most damage. The exception to this is in Rage. When you're far away from the wall, the spear might not wall splat. Rage Drive though is much more consistent. Now the problem with this move is it's hard to use. Because it's from while standing, you can't set up like other reversals. You do though, still have some options. One route is using up forward one and back turn delayed hop kick. Both of these moves are safe on block. But because they're jumping, it can trick people into punishing them. And when they go to do that, after using punches, the sabaki is active. Another route is using it defensively. If you're forced into crouch and at minus frames, the opponents will sometimes use DF1. This is to check you. If though you get a hard read on this, the sabaki can steal the turn. The best reach though is against certain strings. Take for instance Nina's D3. This move is punishable on block, but it also has a launching extension. Because of that, most characters end up in a guessing game. Feng though can negate it. After blocking the low, we can use wire standing 1 plus 2. If she doesn't do the 2, then we're safe. If she does, then she gets parried. Either way, we don't lose health. The last thing I want to show you is this. On how to state, if we get a wall break and we're in rage, Feng can do a 130 plus damage combo. As always, if you enjoyed this video, do drop a like. It really helps this channel and it motivates me to do more for this character. Looking ahead, there are more Feng guides coming, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see those. In the meantime, have fun, play well, and I'll see you guys in the future.